Hi there, so I'm here today actually with the BDPS 560 and the BDPS 760 Blu-ray player and we've done a complete unboxing and a walkthrough on how to set up with your Wi-Fi network and I wanted to show you one more really cool thing that you can do and it's the fact that you can use your new Blu-ray player as a DLNA server. So what that means is I can actually use the cool cross media bar interface on my new Blu-ray player and be able to connect with my notebook or PC and stream photos right from my computer that could be located in my office, in my den, in another room in my home, right to my TV and use my TV's remote or my Blu-ray player's remote to access all those great photos I have. And it's done very easily and it doesn't matter which operating system you have as long as it's a Windows operating system. I'm here with the new Windows 7 operating system and I'm going to show you how easy it is with Windows 7 to be able to connect to my Blu-ray player and allow it to communicate with my computer back and forth so we can talk to each other and stream photos directly to the machine. So let me show you how it's done. You simply go on screen here, you open up your Windows Media Player, and what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enable the media sharing feature, and it's done very easily. You actually just mouse over here to the Stream button, and using the Stream button, I'm going to go in and select More Streaming Options. Now one thing you want to really make sure is with your Blu-ray player, and I'm going to show you this when we go back to the Blu-ray screen, is that you have to have your Blu-ray player on and the wireless LAN feature has to be connected. And again, you'll know that your wireless LAN is connected by that green light being lit up on the front of your Blu-ray player. And that means that your Blu-ray player is connected to your network. So now when I go in and set this setting up here, let's make this full screen. I'm going to go and select show devices on local network and it's a pull down menu. So I'm going to select all networks. And you can hear, see here, there's all these different networks that it's found that it's connected to my personal wireless network. And I have this unknown device. And what that is is actually my Blu-ray player, my BDPS 560 or 760. You can see here it says it's an unknown device and it's blocked. Well, all I have to do is simply select blocked, open up the pull-down menu, and select allow. And now what this does is allows access using default settings. You can go into this customized menu and even tell the computer, I'm allowed to communicate the following items to this device. And I have it selected here that I have my music, pictures, recorded TV, and video. Now remember, this Blu-ray player can only stream photos right from your computer to your Blu-ray player. So again, I'm going to leave it on the default settings, click OK. And now I'm going to click OK again here to set it up. So again, this unknown device has been added and it's allowed to communicate with other devices in my home. So I'm going to click OK here again. And it's simply, that's all you need to do on your computer. And if you have a computer that has Windows XP or Vista, Windows Media Player is going to work the same way. Now let's go to the Blu-ray player and show you one that last step that you need to do to be able to, be able to enjoy watching your photos on your TV using your Blu-ray player. So after you set everything up on your PC, I've come back downstairs to my home theater room. Everything's set up on my Windows machine. I turned my Blu-ray player on and now navigating the cross media bar, I'm going to have to go back and go to the setup tab and make sure I go to my network settings. I'm going to click the center button on my remote and now go to connection server settings. This is where I have to go and do that final step to be able to allow my Blu-ray player to now talk with my PC that's in my other room. Now by simply pressing the options button, I can go to update server list and now what it's going to do is actually going to try to communicate with my PC that's in my other room and find it. You can see here now it's found my VIOS CW and finds the MAC address, sets everything up and basically now you're done. Now by simply pressing the return button on the remote, I can go back to the cross media bar, I'm going to scroll out of this menu and we're going to move to the Photos tab now. And now what you'll see is actually under the Photo tab, I have a new icon. It's the Windows Media Player icon. Now it means that it's actually set up to communicate with my PC. So now using the remote and the awesome cross media bar interface, I can go in now and start navigating the My Documents folder on my PC. So because now I can stream photos, I'm going to go to the Pictures folder and I'm going to select All Pictures. And basically what it's doing is communicating with my computer and populating all these photos that are on my file upstairs in my den. So I can quickly go in, look at these small little thumbnails, or if I want to look at a larger photo of anything, simply go down to the image, hit enter on the remote, and it's going to bring it up in full screen for me. Now, 
this is where, depending on how good your internet connection is, will determine on how fast it's going to load the photos. But this is a, such a great feature because you can simply just go in and look at all these photos that are on your PC without having to go to your computer room and show everyone what you have. Also, by hitting options, you can do things like slideshows. You can adjust the speed from fast, normal, or slow. Stop, rotate. So you do have some great functionality using your TV's remote. So now I've made my big 46-inch Bravia a beautiful photo frame and using my, my new BDPS 560 or 760 Blu-ray player. The one other cool thing just to really point out is when I go back, I talked about in an earlier video about the USB connectivity that I can actually view photos straight from a USB key. Again, you can see here the second tab is the USB device. I have it plugged in right into the front of the Blu-ray player under the transport buttons. And you can see I have access now to this USB key. And simply by selecting it, I can go in, look at all the different things that are on here, and go through this pictures folder and look at all the different photos that are on my USB key. So two really cool ways to be able to take advantage of our new Blu-ray players to be able to view photos on them. So not only are they great for movies, but you can get a great photo experience on them as well. So thank you for spending some time with us today. Please make sure that if you watch the unboxing video as well as the walkthrough on how to set up your Blu-ray player for the first time and connecting to your wireless network. And last, this video here talking all about DLNA and be able to connect with your computer to stream photos right to your Blu-ray player. Thanks for spending some time with us today.